This is Mr. Joe from Virtubotics and today we're going to be going over the Versolino LCD and keypad 1.0. So here's the board and it also comes with a 16 pin header that you can solder on yourself if you so choose. The reason we leave this part unsoldered is because some people already have headers on their LCD screens so we didn't want to make life more difficult for you. And so this board is compatible with all standard 16 pin LCD screens. So all of the 16 pin LCDs that we carry are compatible. The interface is a Versalino bus here. One important thing to note is that it doesn't have the VN on it. So when you go to plug this into the Versalino, you wanna make sure that the Versalino isn't offset improperly. Just look on the Versalino and you should see that the VDD and ground symbols should be the same and they should line up with each other. It also has a standard six pin analog port. The only difference on this one is that the general purpose IO is not connected because there weren't enough pins. And this trimmer right here is what you can adjust the uh, brightness of the letters with. And so if you're not seeing your letters, you may need to adjust that trimmer until you can see them. So let's go ahead and look at the way this plugs in. Over here, I have a fully assembled one. And so the first thing that we did, right, was we put some hot glue over these electronics here to make sure that they would actually not end up causing a short between power and ground or anything. Then we soldered on matching up pins 1 and 16. There's also pin names here. If you uh, don't have indicators to the actual pins, you'll be able to actually on the other side here let me show you on the actual board. Right here, it'll actually tell you what each pin is on the board. That way you can line it up with just about any LCD. Once that's soldered in place, we can actually plug our Versalino. So, so far we have the Versalino Nano and the Versalino Uno, but anything with a standard Versalino bus should be able to plug in no problem. And so, in this case we're gonna use this one so the power goes out this way. You could also do it this way using the other bus. The sample code that I provide assumes that you use bus A. And so, but that's another way to plug it in. All are equally valid. And you have the whole other Versalino bus available for use if you wanted to plug in a motor master or anything else. And so in this case, let me go ahead. Uh, I already have the sketch loaded up for this program. So we'll just plug her in and show how it works. So with this plugged in, you can see that we're able to get text out here. I have some other videos uh, that I've done that show how to use this Virtualbotics pot pad. And then you have triple slider. I also have a four button uh, keypad that we'll be releasing soon. And a, uh, a whole line of six pin and RJ11 devices that I can't wait to release that would be able to interface with this no problem. So uh, again, you don't have to actually use a keypad with this this can use any analog six pin device so like the uh the six pin adapter for the virtualbotics accelerometer could plug onto here and then you could actually maybe make a game that uses the accelerometer on an lcd screen and also remember that this is compatible with just about any 16 pin standard lcd so all of our other lcd sizes and any other LCD that you have around that follows the standard 16 pin protocol should work just fine. So please let me know if you have any questions and feel free to follow up with any examples of, of what you've done with this board. And I can't wait to hear from you all.